Appendix 1 to the Guild Expedition of the Arctic Future in Forge of Empires. In the main video of the Arctic Future Guild Expedition, I mentioned that I would be happy to receive recommendations about how to solve those encounters not demonstrated in that video. The German player Der Bongo made such a suggestion for platforms 62 and 64. He uses something that we all know already from the attack helicopter of the contemporary era. Artillery cannot attack flying units. Unfortunately, the flying unit of the Arctic Future, the Dragon Drone, is not usable in the same way as the range is limited to one, causing retaliation damage from the heavy units. Also, it does not reach the opponent with the first move. The stronger alternative to the attack helicopter is the combat drone of the Tomorrow Era. I simply demonstrated with platform 62, the second last small platform of level 4 of the Guild Expedition. To maximize the advantage from having the right to move first, I decide for 8 combat drones and no rogues. Of course, I only attack the heavy units as the artillery cannot do harm to me. I make a minor mistake by not providing the final hit to one unit. I assume that I already sorted it out after three hits. This results in receiving more damage than necessary, but it will not change the result. The battle fortress requires four hits, but due to my majority, this is done quickly. Afterwards, The automatic fight will do the remaining part. Wave 2 works exactly the same way. By the way, the Arctic Orangery doesn't help at all, as it only supports units fighting against opponents of the same age. If the attack strength of a unit was not enough, boosts can be added. If a behemoth is hidden between hills, you have to calculate with the related retaliation damage. Independent of that tiny mistake, I only lost three combat drones. After negotiating the 63rd platform, platform 15 of level 4, I first buy the 30% attack boost in the tavern to make sure that I will not need too many hits to destroy an opponent unit. I use exactly the same team again. This time those bee moths surviving round one both are able to hide between hills. This varies from map to map and in the video you see the worst case when both can reach hills. After both are destroyed, the automatic fight feature can do the remaining part. The second wave of Platform 64 can be managed with the same strategy. Battle fortresses always require four hits. With Behemoth, the number of hits can be reduced by having enough attack strength. As mentioned before, my 150% attack strength are not enough. Therefore, I added the 30% from the tavern. Never forget that the combat drone is from two eras below the Arctic future and therefore has less attack strength. In the end, there is only one important thing. The final platform of the guild expedition level 4 is won. A big thank you to Der Bongo for providing that hint. <laughs>